and welcome to Living Spinal. Uh, I'm Andrew and I'll be your host today on livingspinal.com. Today we're going to be working on one of my favorite seated segues, the Freedom Glider. Um, one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it's simple, it's affordable, and it really is comfortable. Living Spinal is the only place you'll find the Freedom Glider in the United States. You'll see right away, and this is something that people will notice, is wow, it's really affordable. The Freedom Glider has a very simple design that makes it be able to be the cheapest seat that you can get for a Segway. So let's just go ahead and go through some of the option sets, and then I'll teach you a little bit more about some of the neat characteristics of the product. The first one here is going to be plain and simply choosing the seat height. So they keep it simple and it's a low seat and a high seat. What you see in this picture, and that's actually me riding the seated Segway, is the high seat. And then if we go ahead and we click on this picture here, you'll see this is the low seat or let's click here and this is also the low seat. You can tell because he's actually like down in between the fender walls. You'll also notice that he's sitting on an X2 and it's a good picture of the X2 tires. He is so in the wilderness that he was able to sneak up on a deer here in this picture, which is incredible. This gentleman that we're looking at is actually the founder and inventor of the Freedom Glider. And then let's go ahead and go back to the picture of me on the seated Segway, and I'm on an I2 Segway which is more of a street tire. The difference between the two is the I2 is going to have a much narrower wheelbase. The tires are more of a street tire and you get an overall width of 25 inches. Whereas with the X2, it's more of an off-road unit and little wider tires giving you more ability to float on top giving you more traction, and really opening up a lot of really cool terrain to go on. So if you want to go on sand, if you want to go off-roading in the deep woods, if you want to go along the river base, in shallow water, along the ocean, the X2 is going to be the one for you. Now, if you want to be able to go in and out of your house easier, if you want to use it mostly on the street, simple trail riding on grass, gravel, all of those are totally capable by the i2 and that'll be the best unit for you. There's about a $500 difference between the X2 and the i2 as far as the base, but the Freedom Glider for each is the same price. One of the really unique, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop out of here again, we'll go back to the um, option sets on the product page. So uh, right here next, we have high seat control arm position. What's really unique about this is you're gonna choose whether you want the steering arm on the left or the right. And again, we see this in a lot of the different segues out there. Some people maybe are either left-handed or right-handed, or when they were injured, if they were injured, they may be injured more so on one side. So especially in strokes and spinal cord injury, paralysis of any kind, a lot of times it's more towards one side, which makes a lot of sense, right? Like what are the odds that your injury was right down the center? You can use the side that is most dominant to you or you're stronger on. The next one that we're going to choose is the custom handrails. As you can see here, it says required for the I2. The handrails that I2 sells for their normal segues is not compatible with the seat. So Freedom Glider has actually made the decision to also manufacture a handrail that does work well and is totally compatible with their own seat. Livingspinal.com can help you with getting a brand new Segway. You'll have an option of an X2 or an I2, or maybe you have a Segway already, or maybe you're looking to save a little bit more money yet and you wanna go the used route. Now, there is risks in buying a used Segway. The batteries on the Segways are about $2,000. So, you know, we don't necessarily recommend to people to go and get a used Segway. Let's say that the person before you did not properly take care of the batteries or charge them the way that they should have. And all of a sudden those batteries just aren't charging anymore. And you're now 
$2,000 in expenditures in order to get new batteries. Segways that you would purchase right now are called I2 or X2 SEs, okay, like Sam Edward. About two years ago was when they stopped making non SE models, basically just I2 and X2 models. But now they are called I2 SE and I2 X2 SE. The reason why it's so important is that the steering arm is mounted slightly different on the old model, the I2s and X2s. The I2 SE and the X2 SE are mounted with a five bolt pattern, whereas the old models were slid on and it was one bolt that kind of squeezed onto a circular fitting on the front of the unit. It's very important and you want to make sure that you get the proper steering arms that come with and are compatible with the Segway that you have. The last thing here is going to be installation. So there are a couple different choices. You can either install it yourself, there's a lot of people that are very mechanically inclined out there, or maybe they have a friend, an uncle, a sister, a brother, whatever, that is mechanically inclined as well and could help them install it if you're not. So that's your first choice. The next choice is that we work with a dealer. So Living Spinal has a network of dealers out there. We hopefully have a dealer in your area. And if we do, we'd love to hook you up with that dealer and you can work directly with them for the same prices and they'll just be assistance to you. Not everywhere are there dealers, so sometimes we would have to help you directly. The next thing is going to be, let's say that you don't want to install it yourself and you don't have a dealer near you to help you. And then you would actually have to, there's, a, there's an additional charge to that and Living Spinal would put it together here and then ship it to you because otherwise you would normally receive the kit, the chair that you choose, and the Segway in two separate boxes, whereas then they can go direct to you. There is no landing gear on a Freedom Glider, okay? It's actually the only seated Segway kit that Living Spinal sells that does not have landing gear. What does that mean? That means that you need to have a quick and aggressive transfer from your wheelchair, or you need to be able to have a little bit of ambulation or be able to stand and be able to sit down onto the Segway because the landing gear on some of the other units out there are what allows someone to very slowly transfer onto a unit. Now, me, myself, I'm actually able to ride the Freedom Glider just fine. I get close to it or I have an, someone else assist me and just hold onto the steering arm while I transfer because What's fascinating with the Segway, right, is it's two wheels. So the Segway has to be on in order to get on it, and it has to stay on the whole time you're on it. So that means that it also needs to be on and balancing while you get off of it. You can either ask for a little bit of assistance from a friend that can hold the steering arm, or you can just have a really quick transfer and you want to jump over and then get a hand back on the Segway so that it doesn't want to move away or kind of run off without you. The high model of the Freedom Glider has a storage compartment underneath the seat and it's really nice. I've gone for ice cream and didn't finish all my ice cream so I just stuck it on the storage compartment underneath me. The thing always stays level so it's not like it's gonna tip over and rode all the way home. Or let's say you have a cool night and you wanna bring a pair of gloves with you, or you want to stick a couple um, cath kits in there, or you want to have a jacket along, or, or whatever it is. But it's really great to be able to have a little bit of a storage unit underneath you. Thank you so much for being with me today. And that's it on the Freedom Glider. Thanks for listening and enjoy the Freedom Glider. If you are interested, go to livingspinal.com seated segues. Have a great day.